Hi, this is Sherry Ann Richardson from experimentalhomesteader.com and today I'm in my kitchen and I'm baking cranberry scones. I am using the Murren 8 Triangle Cavity Silicone Portion Pan. You can make cakes with this, uh, Scottish scones, cornbread, pizza. Um, this would make nice individual pie slices. Basically anything that you would want an individual slice of you can make with this. Now I've gone ahead and I've prepared my cranberry scone mix and I have started preheating my oven and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this um, just in little sections and I'm going to start filling it up filling my pie pan about halfway full and then I'm going to press the dough in and I'm going to bake these at 375 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes and then I will have perfectly shaped portioned scones. I can tell you, um, I'm just going to start pulling this out by hand. This is a lot easier to do it this way than to roll these and shape them. I've done that a lot. I also want to tell you that this pan does come with a silicone brush like this. Very nice. I pre-treated my pan with some spray butter and then I used the brush to make sure that I got it in all of the little cracks and crevices. I also put a little bit of butter on the top and that is just so if I get these a little over full because I do want to use up my whole mix um, this time and if they go over the top it's going to make it easier to release. I really love how easy the silicone molds are to release. But like I said, a little extra help doesn't hurt. And I learned recently that using butter instead of oil is actually the better choice. So I'm going to kind of press these out a little bit so I can see how each one is. And if you're wondering why I have this sitting on a cookie sheet, the reason is because these molds are very flexible. Those of you that have worked with them in the past know this. You see that? You don't want to be taking things in and out of a hot oven and having it flex on you like this. So it's easier just to use a solid baking sheet. The particular baking sheet that I'm using does have an insulated bottom, which I find works better all the way around, but you can use whatever you have on hand. And See, I got a little bit more. I'm going to get these molds filled up. And like I said, just use my finger to press them down. Another tip I want to share with you is if you're wondering why am I wearing gloves in my home kitchen. When I use, and these are food grade gloves, um, they are available at kitchen supply stores. And when I use them, sticky things like dough do not stick to my fingers. And that's a real pet peeve of mine to have stuff stuck to my fingers um, like dough and then have to try to get it out of there. So I'm just going to pick this up. This is what the unbaked scones in the pans are going to look like. Like I said, I'm going to finish flattening these out. I'm going to put this in the oven and bake them for 12 to 15 minutes and then we're going to allow this pan to completely cool. Unlike what you're used to, let this completely cool down. And then we'll come back when I actually take these out of the pan and we'll show you how nice the pan did. Um, I do need to tell you, I did receive this item for free or at a reduced price in exchange for my honest review. All opinions are my own. We'll be back. Okay, so the timer has gone off. I'm going to go ahead and shut my oven off and take these out. I did have to give them about 15 minutes. Okay, I had originally set it for 12. And this is what they look like. Uh, I want to try to do this and not burn myself. Let me do it this way. Okay. This is what they look like fresh out of the oven in the pan. 
And I'm going to slide this pan right here onto this cooling rack. And I'm just going to, like I had said earlier, allow this to completely cool before I attempt to take these scones out of the pan. I think they did really well. Um, and I'm ready to eat, but I do have to let them cool first. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, so like many of you at home, especially when you are preparing a holiday dinner or a large family dinner, you have several things going on in the kitchen at once, which I do. Um, the scones have cool, the pan is cool. The scones are cool enough that we're going to try to unmold these. And what I have done is I have this on my uh, cooling rack. I'm going to fold these down. I have put just a plain plate on top and I'm going to flip this whole thing. Okay, I'm going to remove the cooling rack. That's all this is. Um, you can get these almost any place and I recommend if you don't have one, go get yourself one. And we're going to see if these are ready to release. Okay, I can feel them coming loose from the bottom. Um, again, trying to keep my eye on what's going on over here on the stove. So I'm going to give a little press on these just to help release them from the mold. You could do this the other way too if you really wanted to, but I think flipping it was just easier for me. Okay. And these appear that they are coming out perfectly. So am I ready? Am I ready? Am I ready? Um, I think that I am ready to pull this pan off of here and see what we have. This is the pan. And this turned upside down is my scones so I'm just going to flip these so you can see um oops I did break that one in half um guess I'll have to eat it now huh um that's okay too all right um no big deal and we have perfectly shaped and baked scones ready for you to serve to your friends or family and again this was the uh murin eight triangle cavity silicone portion pan available on amazon.com thanks for watching and have a great night